You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. As always, we do appreciate it. If you have a question, go to askdroneu.com. And if you're like me and you love to fly, go ahead, take flight today. Leave your problems at the ground and explore the sky because it's one way to get away from it all. Mm. Don't forget that. Uh, anyway, thank you for listening to my rant last show uh, or many shows. Uh, and thank you for, <laughs> uh, for dealing with my ADD. So well, appreciate all of you. Y- yes, and uh, we do. We definitely appreciate you and appreciate all your knowledge, too. I mean, I don't know how you keep it all up there, frankly. <laughs> it wears me out. You having that all in your head wears me out. <laughs> I'll just say the amount of tasks that you get done in a day wears me out. I'm oh, overwhelmed by just the sheer gosh. thought of the number. So we Anyways, all have our strengths, Rob. That's true. We do. Yeah. We do. And, and you all have your strengths, and we want to help your drone piloting become better and stronger and uh, something that you enjoy even more. So thank you for the questions. AskDroneU.com. If you do have a question, we know you do. Take a couple minutes and send it in so that everybody can benefit from what's on your mind. Um, Let's hop into this sucker. Yeah, actually, speaking of questions, uh, one of the questions I've seen in the the DroneU community lately a lot is about the rules of charging batteries, which is one of our Mm. oldest classes. Mm -hmm. And you remember even one of our new clients was bringing that up about cold weather battery stuff. Yesterday in Reddit, a guy's house burned to the ground. Because of batteries? Because of an FPV battery. He was like, the one time I left the battery on the charger and my house burns down. Oh my God. That's why I'm so strict about leaving batteries plugged in yeah. it is no joke literally we can lose everything even the little ones because all it takes is a spark uh, the little ones are the paper. worst in my opinion oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> when i see kids with all these lipos in their backpack i'm like oh my god <laughs> like, <laughs> no thank you Hit the deck. <laughs> literally um anyway thanks again for joining us let's get right into today's question uh which is brought to you by once again our new Mapping Bootcamp class. That's right. We're doing it in the afternoons, the evenings, to give you an opportunity to break it down. This way, you don't have to drink from a fire hose. Yeah, I know. I know it's a lot. But when people ask you, I need to learn mapping in three days, I'm like, okay, get ready. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, if you don't want to learn it all in three days, uh, if you want to learn it over 12 sessions, like a normal uh, college course, then join me for Drone Mapping Bootcamp. That is, if you want to understand the value of drone mapping, the systems of drone mapping, and how to produce a point cloud on any system, whether it's cloud, desktop, or on your iPad with Pix4D. Nice. Yeah. And all the wonderful things that you can do with all of those maps and data. and It grows so fast, amazing. Rob. With all the things that Pix just put out, all the things that Drone Deploy just put out, I'm just like, I could literally have another course that lasts a whole year to teach everyone all these things, mm. you know? Well, we'll get started with this semester version. That's right. So join us. Thanks again. The DroneU.com or DroneU.education. Hey guys, um, just had a quick question for you regarding an airspace authorization request. When an airport is not within land sea purview, how quickly are you guys getting a turnaround on the request? I know it says up to 90 days, but uh, do you guys know a uh, a workaround on that? Hmm. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate the question. And uh, I've actually seen a lot of conversations about this. It's obviously a big deal to pilots trying to get um, authorization to go do the work that they need to do. But what are we hearing? What do we know? Donuts. 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 It's been a good show. Yeah, great show, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Laws of human. That is the workaround. That is the workaround is donuts. Uh, that literally was cheesy as and hell. Well. metaphorically. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean it. It's the laws of human nature, right? If you need something done at a priority, You've got to make friends with someone. They've got to like you. They've got to want to help you. Look, we're all humans. So I say this because donuts have helped me meet the ATC or airport manager and, you know, say, hey, I got a big job coming up next week and I could just really use your help if you would give me 15 minutes to look over X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. But to answer his question, what are we hearing? I'm seeing in the drone you community about two to three, three and a half weeks. 
Um, I myself just uh, witnessed two and a half weeks, which is faster than what I've seen a lot in the past with the FAA for sure. But I will also say, I think that this is my favorite pronunciation of Lance I've ever heard. Lancey. Lancey. Yeah. I don't think he's the only one using it. I've heard other people say that. I don't, maybe it's correct. I don't know. It's kind of like when, it's, it's kind of like when the administrator of the FAA calls it BV loss. I'm like, you're combining two separate strategies of vernacular. Um, <laughs> but everybody knows what you're talking uh, yeah, about. BVLO That's my essay. feeling on the English language because in forgive me, you English majors and you literature majors. No one cares. God bless you. If you understand what I said, I used good English. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> how it works. You know what? It's just, it doesn't matter. The, it, it, the commu- yeah, the communication doesn't matter. We're hearing two to three weeks if you are working with an airport that is not Lance uh, capable. Mm-hmm. Um, In terms and, of a workaround, I assume that there are not really any, I think, oh, correct me if I'm wrong. No, no, there's not. I was just joking about the donut. That's what I was like, the donut. Well, but in, in some sense, that relationship that you might be able to build could truly be helpful. But I I was just going to say, I think your quote unquote workaround is just to have a complete application. Make sure you do it well and right and succinct and understandable. And I think that's probably going to help your chances. Also, I will say that I recently made a really stupid mistake in seeking a Lance authorization because I experienced a app glitch and it wasn't pushing my Lance request. Hmm. And then I realized I made a really bimbo mistake. So um, take it slow. Like you said, make sure your information is complete. Make sure you do the research. Um, Make friends. What sucks is typically those airports that are not Lance enabled have some of the most, yeah, some are, some are not hard to work with. Um, And uh, We're speaking from experience around here. There's a couple that are on a power trip, maybe is one way to say it. And it really makes you... But you're going to run into that. It really makes you wonder how stupid those people are because... (laughs) No, 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 really, no, really, because their job is to keep the airspace safe. And if someone is trying to avidly get your attention to bring an operation to your table to say, look, this is really important. Mm. And again... It, like, it's really important. I could really use your help because I'm trying to do this safely. Isn't the goal to keep the airspace safe? Yeah, I think anyway. the, some of these people think they're keeping it safe by telling you no and not seeing the full context of this person probably will just go fly anyways. Why not work with this person? And I don't know. Yeah, Who knows what goes I would through say, some of these people's I mind. would say the the hard to work with airport managers are really making it worse for everybody because when every they, industry has yeah has it and we all have to learn how to navigate that and, and a bitch. mitigate it and work around it. That's <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's true. Uh, that, it's not just a saying. Uh, no, it's not. And I have learned one <laughs> lesson in my life, and that is, uh, crappy people will ruin themselves. You do not need to help them <laughs> or spend time on it. Yeah, no. So no, just be kind. Be kind. The best vengeance is success in silence. Mm. Yeah, like in sports, right? Whenever I don't know when you're on the road or someone's um, heckling you, it's all all you gotta do if you're if you're winning <laughs> is point at the scoreboard and you're done. Or ask an open-ended, calibrated question and say, "Why should anyone listen to you?" Or how do you expect anyone to value that opinion? I don't want to have a conversation, though. I like shutting people down. It's kind of a thing for me. Anyway, okay. uh, oh, I boy. also do like having great conversations intellectually with people, too. Don't think it's all or nothing. We love you guys and girls. Thanks we for do. joining us. Um, Rob's hungry. We got to go. Uh, we, uh, we, <laughs> He's getting antsy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never seen Rob so excited in my life. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Please leave us a review. Please ask a question. Askadroni.com. And uh, take flight and enjoy it. And don't worry about uh, don't worry about worrying about what industry leaders say or anything. Worry about being safe. Worry about having fun, because if you're doing those two things, you're going to be just fine. And don't be impetuous. It's a deep rabbit hole. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Tronio. <laughs>